I'm an Israeli. I was born in Israel. I even perceive myself as an Israeli patriot. I care about Israel. I belong to Israel. I'm attached to Israel. Guys, it's not about peace. It's not about symmetria. There is no symmetria. Forget about symmetria. Don't speak about symmetria because there is no symmetry. I would even suggest that there is no conflict. Was there a French-Algerian conflict? There was a brutal French occupation in Algeria which came to its end. And there is no Israeli-Palestinian conflict. There is a brutal Israeli occupation which must come to its end one way or the other. One way was the two-state solution. One way was the two-state solution. It's a fair solution. Israel did anything possible to destroy it in an irreversible way. And now we are left only with the other alternative. There is no third way. And the one state is now 50 years old. In the front of it, there is a democracy for the Jewish citizens of Israel, with many cracks. And now with our new elected uh, defense minister, we'll have even more cracks, but we can still claim democracy. The second regime is to, its, to our Palestinian citizens, to what we call the Israeli Arabs, who gain some kind of civil rights, but are discriminated systematically. And in our backyard, in our dark backyard, there is a regime which is today by far one of the most cruel, brutal tyrannies on earth. Not less than this, and I know what I say because I cover it for 40 years. And this regime cannot be defined but as an apartheid. Two peoples. Two peoples live on one piece of land. One people has all the rights in the world, and I'm talking now only about the occupied territories. Two peoples share one piece of land there. One people has all the rights in the world. The other people has no rights whatsoever. It looks like apartheid. It talks like apartheid. It is apartheid. And nobody can contradict it. Nobody who had been there. Nobody who is fair enough to look, go to the Jordan Valley, see the prosperity in the settlements and then go and see the Palestinians who live there without electricity, without water, without any rights. And then tell me if it's apartheid.